What's AVAPS? You've heard of CPAP, you've heard of BPAP, okay, BiPAP, but what is average volume assured pressure support really mean? Remember with BPAP, you're setting two pressures. You're setting an expiratory positive airway pressure and an inspiratory positive airway pressure. And whenever the patient takes a breath, the inspiratory positive airway pressure helps that patient get a breath. But the tidal volume that you get is gonna depend on the patient effort. What happens with AVAPS, instead of setting one inspiratory airway pressure, you're setting two inspiratory airway pressures or a range. So you might start off with an inspiratory low of 10 and an inspiratory high of 20. You're going to tell the ventilator, I would like a tidal volume to be assured of around 400 cc's of air. What happens now is on the first breath, the pressure will be supplied at a pressure of 10. And the ventilator is going to look at the tidal volume that that patient takes. If it is below that volume, let's say 200 cc's of air, and we want 400 cc's, the ventilator is going to increase the next positive airway pressure breath within that range of 10 to 20 until it it finds the right pressure where the patient is getting the appropriate tidal volume. Let's say the vent keeps ratcheting up that pressure until we get to a pressure of 13. Over time, that patient's respiratory efforts might get better. Now, at a pressure of 13, we're getting a tidal volume of 500. Well, the ventilator says, you wanted 400. So it's going to dial back that inspiratory positive airway pressure. The ventilator can be present at all times and make adjustments that's individualized for the patient. And so now you know 